What's going on, everybody? Jeff Holiday here, and I'm just recording this really, really quick, off the cuff, um, because I thought people should be aware of this. Uh, for those who have come to my channel and seen uh, perhaps my series, A Song of Salt and Poo, where I'm talking about Jilly Juice, Jillian Epperly, uh, that kind of thing, there's a little bit of an update to the story, uh, <laughs> and I, it was just revealed to me. Um, before I get into it, though, I did want to mention, I'm not sure if this story is why the Dr. Phil episode might be delayed. All I know is it's not airing tomorrow, I guess. If you look at the TV listings, they have a different episode lined up, and perhaps it's going to be next week. But as I find out more information, I'll, of course, put it out and update everyone as need be. But this just came in today. This is pretty wild. Newsweek. Woman who claims cabbage juice cures autism and can regrow limbs to be probed by officials. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. So, let's take a look at this. There's actually a bunch of different articles, uh, all, all basically reporting the same thing, um, but I wanted to do the Newsweek one because Newsweek is actually a pretty big media outlet. Officials in Ohio have demanded proof from a woman who has falsely claimed that fermented cabbage, fermented cabbage juice can cure... Everything from autism to homosexuality. Uh, Jillian Epperly, 44, from Canton, Ohio, claims that a substance called Candida causes disease in the body, and that drinking a gallon of her protocol she calls Jilly Juice every day can be used to treat it. So, I'm not going to go over the whole article because, obviously, if you've watched my Song of Salt and Poo videos, uh, then you know the whole shtick. Uh, or, also, if you're new to this channel and you haven't seen them, I highly encourage you to do so. The link, it'll be the top link um, down below in the description. Go check out that series. It was a blast to do. So, uh, <laughs> Everly has no known medical or scientific qualifications, according to a BuzzFeed report, which included an interview with her. Uh, I did also want to make mention, I worked with the reporter for BuzzFeed on that article, so I'm I'm overjoyed that this had as much of an effect as it did. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, there's there's Jillian looking a little confused. Uh oh, trying to give people medical advice when I'm not a doctor. Might not have worked out as a planned. Uh, <laughs> talks about her book, uh, but here's where it gets good. The Ohio Attorney General's Office confirmed to Newsweek its Consumer Protection Section sent Epperly a, re a letter requesting proof regarding her claims on JillyJuice.com, including customer testimonials. However, the, the spokesperson said it could not confirm whether the unit had launched a formal investigation prior to a public filing, such as a lawsuit. So it can't confirm whether or not they're, they're pursuing this in that direction, but he didn't deny it either. Um... It would have been pretty easy for him to deny it. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, she warns readers of her website, nothing on her website should be construed to be medical advice and that it's not been approved by the FDA, etc., etc., etc. Tamara Rice Lave, professor of law at University of Miami School of Law, told Newsweek she believes it is very likely that Epperly will be prosecuted. The possible consequences include an injunction that bars her from touting false claims in the future. Flouting the injunction would carry a fine of up to $5,000 a day every day it is violated. The Attorney General can also collect money from Epperly to reimburse customers for any harm they suffered from her false claims. So, it is, according to this, this law professor, it is very likely Jillian is going to be prosecuted for selling her bullshit, bullshit cure. Uh, <laughs> it's... It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, second, the Jilly Juice website has a list of items that she recommends people buy and then links to where they can be purchased. If she's making any money from these sales, which she presumably is, and yeah, of course she is, then this is another way that she is using deceptive sales practices in violation of Ohio law. Addressing the issue of false health claims more generally, other states should adopt Ohio's law, Ohio's law said Professor Lave. I would agree. Uh, Nicholas Terry, professor of law at Hall Center for Law and Health at Indiana University, pointed to a case of Palm Wonderful LLC. The Court Appeals of the District of Columbia upheld a decision by the FTC that the makers of the pomegranate juice had made unsubstantiated claims that its products could treat and prevent heart disease, prostate cancer, and erectile 
dysfunction. So, what's incredible about this is, uh, in, in a rare moment, unfortunately it is rare, uh, there's a case of pseudoscience that happened, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's frustrating because somebody is preying on people who are gullible or they are in a vulnerable position, and it looks like they might have to face the consequences of their actions, and I'm overjoyed. I am overjoyed by it. I don't know what was the impetus for this. I would assume it's the BuzzFeed article, uh, in which case I'm very happy that I got to, to assist the writer in that. I, 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 I'm just overjoyed. I'm honestly overjoyed. I will keep you updated as this develops. I probably would just like another quick video or whatever. But <laughs> yeah, um, it looks like Jillian's, Jillian's in trouble. But please, by all means, uh, go, if you haven't seen them, go watch A Song of Salt and Poo to learn, learn all about Jillian and her crazy claims. Um, I don't know when the Dr. Phil episode where I got to confront her uh, to her face. I don't know when that's airing now. It was supposed to be tomorrow. I'll let you know. I'll let you know as soon as I find out. Um, and in the meantime, I am currently right now editing another video that will be coming out. Uh, probably tomorrow, if not, maybe Saturday. So I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye-bye, everybody.